At first glance, this bobbing, bubble-like creature looks like a jellyfish. But don't be fooled by its spindly tentacles and translucent body, because it's definitely not a jellyfish. This is a Portuguese man-o-war, and it's extremely dangerous. While it may seem like a harmless plastic bag floating in the ocean, it's not. If you come across one while swimming in the ocean or find one washed up on the beach, whatever you do, don't touch it. A Portuguese man of war can potentially kill a human, and you don't want to be its next victim. So if it's not a jellyfish, what is a Portuguese man of war? Do they only live in Portugal? And why are they so dangerous? The Portuguese man of war is a unique creature, and you know how much we love those. I mean, just look at it. Its weird appearance aside, something that makes this creature one of a kind is that it's not a single organism. It's a colony of organisms that work together to move, hunt, eat, and reproduce as a single unit. This type of creature is called a siphonophore, Four organisms make up each man of war, and they're called polyps. Though each polyp performs its task, they can only survive together. It's a tough world out there, and a single man of war polyp couldn't hack it on its own. Unlike jellyfish, these siphonophores don't propel themselves using their bodies. Instead, they drift along, and wind or ocean currents carry them. They've gathered in groups or legions of a thousand or more. Yikes! You won't catch me getting tangled in that deadly knot of tentacles. The Portuguese man of war received its strange name because its body resembles the sails of an 18th century Portuguese man of war battleship. And like a battleship, these siphonophores float along an ocean surface, striking down those who cross its path. They prefer warmer waters and live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. And they're near Spain's beaches in the Mediterranean Sea, much to the dismay of locals and tourists. The reason beachgoers fear them is because of their long, stinging tentacles, which can grow up to 50.1 meters long. That's taller than the Arc de Triomphe. Their stingers are called nematocysts. Well, they're certainly my nematocysts. They can poison humans using their venomous bisalotoxin. They use their stinging tentacles to catch and immobilize small fish, shrimp, and plankton. Once they catch their prey, the polyp in charge of eating begins to digest it. Then it circulates the nutrients to the other three polyps. Now that's teamwork. If you have an unfortunate encounter with a Portuguese man o' war tentacle, you will feel immediate and intense pain and develop severe skin welts. You may also experience fever, vomiting, and dizziness. And if you get exposed to enough venom, you could have cardiac, neurological, and respiratory distress. In an extreme case, it could kill you. In 1987, the first recorded death from a Portuguese man of war happened on a beach in Florida. A 67-year-old woman got stung while swimming in the ocean during the summer. That's when these creatures are fully mature and their venom is most potent. She was so severely stung that the stingers were still attached to her leg while medics treated her. The toxins eventually caused her to stop breathing and severely lowered her blood pressure. Unfortunately, she died. While Portuguese man of war deaths are rare, they do happen. So if you see one, don't go anywhere near it, even if it's dead. Despite how dangerous Portuguese man of wars are, they're no match for nudibranchs. These technicolored sea slugs don't just prey on the man of wars, they steal their stings. Check out our episode on nudibranchs to learn all about these bizarre invertebrates. Drifting along the ocean like a ship and having deadly tentacles is what Portuguese man o' wars do. And that's what makes them, say it with me, crazy creatures. <laughs>